my name is Dagmar Munn. Join me with today's guest, Stacy jones Ferratus in some dance-like exercises while sitting in a chair. These movements will help you maintain your sense of balance along with some smooth stretching. Ready, Stacy? We're going to begin by loosening up through the whole body. Let's take the arms up and around. Now notice that we're sitting towards the front edge of our chair. Our hips are toward the center and the front so that our back muscles can engage and we have room for the arms to sweep. Let's go back the other way. If you're sitting back in the chair and slumping back, please move forward. Place your feet firmly on the ground, just a little further apart than you usually sit, and that way your balance will be comfortable. Now let's take the arm across and open out. So we're going to sweep across and open out. I'm using my free hand for balance on the edge of the chair and letting my body sway freely so all the muscles are engaged. And this is our last one and we'll go to the other side. So we're going to sweep across and open out. It's a good exercise for the shoulders. We're rotating through the shoulder. Hand is over and up. You'll notice that as you lean to the side, our muscles of the right side of the ribs are working and then the left. And it helps to take a nice easy breath. So breathe. And one more. Good. We're going to take the hands forward and take this opening up and let's just bring them back down again and open low. So this part of the exercise is working upper back and shoulders. So we stay up nice and tall not slumping, and down, and once more up, and back down. I'm going to put my hands on the shoulders and do just a little bit of a twist, and twist. Now if you can get this part of the exercise, stay with it. If you can move a little bit more, we're going to open an arm, and open an arm. So the bicep muscle of the arm is working as well as our back with some rotation twisting and your diagonal stomach muscles. We forget those a lot. We're going to work with the stomach muscles and I'm going to stay on one side. So let's hold three counts. One, two, three. And we'll take the other side. One, two, three. The other side again. Pull your stomach in and hold with the stomach in. Three. And the other side. Pull the stomach in and three. Very good. Let's let the arms rest down by the side. Now, holding on to the side of the chair, working a little bit of the legs, a little more leg work, we'll take one leg up and circle the ankles. See if you can lift it up a little bit more and set it down. So, foot up, circle, a little lift, and down. Now, you might need to give your leg a little help, so we'll continue on with this, and I'll demonstrate so that shows how you can lift the leg and circle the ankle and try a little lift and down. So one side again, leg, circle the ankle, a little lift and down. Last one, up and circle, a little lift and down. Holding the side of the chair, let's just do an easy kick. Now we want to be a little bit more elegant with this, so we kick lightly, one side, and the other. You're going to have to hold the stomach muscles tight and shoulders are down. A little kick. Can we go across? Kick and across and across. Good. Your legs are getting tired. You can certainly hold them. You want to work the muscles as much as possible and down. Now for the knees, a little rotation of the knee. So keeping your balance, we're going to take the knee up and rotate it around. Let's do that again. Up and rotate it around. You might have to lean to counterbalance and that's okay. Last one up. Let's try the other side. So we're lifting a knee up and rotating around. Stomach muscles are certainly working. Up one more time. Up and down. Good. Let's see if we can extend the leg out a little bit more to the side and take a nice long stretch. Good, and hold that, and let's take our hand down. Now stay with the leg right where it is, 
and reach up and come back. Now this position is meant to give you a chance to twist and to lengthen the leg. Some of you at home might be a little more flexible and you can really reach the leg out to the side and down. Let's try the other side. So help the foot back, extend the leg out as we reach up. You might be fine with the knee bent. And let's bring the hand back down to the leg. You might be able to stretch that leg nice and long and lean. Hold on to the chair for safety. But if the knee is bent, that's fine. We have a nice stretch of the body. Hold and back down again. Excellent. Let's put the feet back in place, sitting up nice and tall. Now I'm going to have us lean back into the chair. Lift the arms up and then try to touch the knees, come back up into a nice straight sit. And roll the hips under, lean back, reach up, and then come right back up. So that's two of those. We're gonna take three more, and roll back. Ah, I feel like resting and staying here. Let's bring the hands down, just two more. Come back up, breathe, and back. down. We take our last one, lifting up and down. And sitting up nice and tall. Good. For the head. Head to the side. Head to the side. Let's let our arms hang down. And I'm going to leave my head over on one side and this arm just sweep it back and forth. Oh, you're going to feel a nice shoulder stretch. Just sweep it back and forth. Now before lifting your head up, we want to be careful with our neck muscles. So let's roll the head to the other side. Let's let it hang to this side. And now your free hand, just swing it back in front. Ah, oh, it feels good on the neck muscles again. Nice stretch. And we'll sweep the head back to the center. And coming back right up again. All right, elbows held. Breath in and breath out. Once more breath in. A nice exercise program using our dance-like movements, increasing our balance, and we're able to sit in the chair the whole time and still work all of the muscles of the body. Let's hold the arms, open them out, and back down again. So we'll just continue with our arm swings, and thanks for being with us today.